Hey everybody, I'm Hubert Porter for another lesson of our Nice Creative Flow. In this lesson, we will learn how to get faster. You'll see a lot of people do techniques, and it, sometimes it'll be a little slow, but you're like, how do I apply this fast? Keeping the art, keeping the technique, making it effective. The concepts that I apply to my training techniques that allow me to get faster or condition my arms to be able to wield an extension of my limb becomes tiresome, so you have to practice some sort of training for that. What I do is I will start to go longer and longer with my training. So let's take the abanico. The abanico is a tiresome drill for your shoulders, especially because you're in this position going back and forward, back and forward, back and forward for a long time. Some people might drill it for 15 seconds, 20 seconds. I would like you to start at a minimum of 30 seconds. Do 30 seconds on the right arm, then 30 seconds on the left. So I've got my timer, I'm gonna go for 30 seconds. And I just start off easy in the beginning. And I don't move, I keep it static. This is just about learning how to condition your forearms, your rotation, so now I'm at the 12 second mark, I start to go faster. I'm at the five second mark, I go faster. Lighter and faster, and time. Now I would do the same thing on my left hand for 30 seconds. Now on the next one, I'm gonna do a minute. After you've done a number of different drills, 30 seconds is tough, one minute is tough. As you get more developed, you start to feel stronger, push yourself, so, so now I'm going for a minute. Start off slow, so you don't get fatigued too early. It's about pacing yourself, keeping the technique, focusing on everything that's starting to get sore. Your shoulder starts to get tired, you start to get crunched up in your neck, practice relaxing that. Your hand is checking, you're breathing, you're relaxed. So now I'm at the th halfway mark, I'll go a little bit faster. Twenty-second mark, a little bit faster. And you really try to turn it on at the end. Ten seconds. Oh, lose, don't, don't lose your technique. And time. So the next one. I'm gonna go beyond a minute. I would add three minutes, then five minutes. Then after that, I just go. And I'll use a heavier stick to begin with. And I'll go back and forward. I'll do heavy stick, almost like kamagong, or a stick that's heavy, like kamagong, which is ironwood, so that I have that weight really making it challenging for me to go that long. So what that does is, when you pick up a lighter stick, it's gonna feel like a toothpick, and you will be able to go forever. So I'm gonna go until I get tired. My technique, I'm gonna try hard to keep it strong and tight together so I don't lose form and don't lose the art, because that is key in every martial art, is the technique and the art. Now it's no time, this is endless time. You might start to see me cramp up and get all messed up, start to walk like a stick zombie. Ugh. We'll see, ready, and go. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go full speed on this one, until I can't. Hey, 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 keep going, keep going. Hey, try to keep your muscles, uh, try to keep everything going. You start to seize up, just keep going. This is the burn, this is what gets you there, this is what breaks you. Then you can start to feel, I need to relax my shoulder, try to go faster. It's in there. And time. Had a little complication hitting that bag, but part of the training, you just deal with it. So with every drill or technique that I do, to get faster at it, I'll play with it slow, or I'll use a heavier stick, like let's say for backhand elastico, I'll just go through this, just to feel it. Especially with the heavier stick, you wanna start off slow, just so your forearms loosen up and get warmed up. Going too fast right away with a heavy stick, you can definitely strain something. So take it easy, build up, and just go over and over and over, and over, switch. Go over, and over, and over, and over. And you wanna go until your arm gets tired. 
So technically what I didn't show you here was once this arm gets tired, I immediately go to my left and I go right away. And I do the same thing, depending on the time I'm doing. If it's 30 seconds, I'll go right away 30 seconds. One minute, one minute, three, three, five, five. And then I just go endless, endless. And I'll use a heavy stick to begin with. And then I'll do some of the drills with a lighter stick to see how much of improvement I've made. That's how you work on speed. But as you're working on speed, don't sacrifice your accuracy. Don't sacrifice your form. Don't sacrifice the art. That is key to your success with how you apply Filipino martial arts and our niece creative flow. I'm Hubert Border. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, activate that little bell so you know when my next video comes up. Thanks very much and see you on the next one.